So, um, in order to uh, handle this dispute between the free states and the slave states, uh, sometimes when we have a disagreement, we have to come to a compromise, right? And remember, we've talked about this before. A compromise is when you get a little bit of something you want and a little bit of something that you don't want so that both sides can have a little bit of what they do want, right? So uh, Congress, some of this, the senators came up with a plan. We call it the Compromise of 1850. And what that did, well, I'm going to show you on the journal, okay? So not only was the United States growing, okay, but the problem with slavery was growing. So you want to write something that also grew was America's problem with slavery. Most people who believed in, um, in the need for slavery were in the southern states, and most who were against slavery were in the northern states, okay? So here is the plan that some of the senators came up with, and it was called the Compromise of 1850, okay? And it did several different things. There were actually five different bills that um, that the, the House of Representatives and the Senate had to vote on, but these are some of the key issues here. First of all, California would come in as a free state, not a slave state. It would be free. Okay, so that made the free states happy, made the slave states unhappy, right? Next, the territories could decide when they became states. So um, territories of the United States that were not states yet, when they got enough people and they were ready to become a state, they would be allowed to vote whether they were free or slave. Um, and that didn't make the slave states very happy, okay? But what they did agree with was that runaway slaves had to be returned. Okay, so a lot of times what would happen is runaway slaves would head to the north because they would want to get to the free states so that they could be free. Well, the southern states, this is their view. They thought, that's my property. My my property stole itself and took it took itself to the free states. So therefore, the free states should send my property back to me. Well, free states did not agree with that, but the southern states thought that was really important. So that became a law that um, slaves who escaped to the north, if someone um, caught them, they could return them to the slave owner. So that was a problem. Um, so anyway, so it was a compromise of 1850. California came in as a free state there were still a lot of problems, even with this compromise, right? The southern states are not happy, the northern states are not happy, and the problem is just going to keep growing. So we'll find that more, uh, find out more about that in the coming days. Um, but today, I wanted you to, since we're not having reading today, we're having history instead, I want you to read three stories in your history book about some runaway slaves. And I want you to read with empathy. I want you to imagine that you are a slave. You are considered someone's property. Can you imagine? Well, there are three people that you're going to read about in your history book today. One, his name is Henry Brown, and he got the nickname Henry Box Brown, so you're going to have to find out about that. Um, and that's on page 216 in your textbook. I know I don't have a student textbook, so mine looks a little bit differently, but this is what the page looks like. Then you'll read page 217 about Harriet Tubman, and you should be a little bit familiar with this because we read a story about her, okay? And you read about the Underground Railroad. We read two stories about that, so that should be somewhat familiar to you, so read about her. And then I want you also to read about Anthony Burns and what happened to him. Um, so this gives us an idea about the problem of slavery that just didn't go away. And it was building the problem and the trouble and the disagreements were just building and building and building. Okay, so we'll talk more about that later this week. But after you read about the three stories of runaway slaves, um, I want you to complete page 115. Send a picture. I do not need the back side. We're only doing the front side, page 115. Okay, so in your instructions, you'll have the maps that you're cutting out for the workbook page um, and the stories that you're going to read about runaway slaves and the runaway slave workbook page. Okay, all right, so I think that's it.